。我听不懂，知道？听不懂。You've arrived in a Mandarin-speaking country, and you're trying to catch the bus, order some food. Make your way to your hotel. You can often find yourselves in a sticky situation. Today, we're going to explore some key words and phrases that hopefully can get you out of some of these sticky situations. Hello, hello, and welcome to another edition of useful words and phrases provided by Glossika. My name is Mons, or you can call me Aman. So you've brushed up on your Mandarin speaking skills, but some of the conversation is just blowing right past you. It's just a little bit too fast. One of the key things you could say would be, "Sorry, I don't understand you." 对不起，我听不懂。对不起，我听不懂。对不起，我听不懂。Now, of course, self-deprecating humor and a bit of modesty always helps and goes a long way in conversation. So let's just be honest. Your Mandarin is just not so good yet. So one of the best ways to do that is to say, 我中文不太好。我中文不太好。我中文不太好。Now again. Diving deeper into this level of honesty, you'd be highlighting that you just started learning Mandarin. 我才刚开始学中文。我才刚开始学中文。我才刚开始学中文。Now, if you really wanted to be a pro at this, you'd combine them both, and you'd say this: 我中文不太好。我才刚开始学。我中文不太好。我才刚开始学。我中文不太好。我才刚开始学。Now we're going to explore a few ways you can ask them to repeat themselves. Maybe say it a bit slower, so that you have a better chance of getting a grasp of what's going on. So one of the ways you can ask them to say it again is to say, "Can you 再说一次吗？可以再说一次吗？" Now if you want to be a little more polite, you'd add the word "ching." So let's try it again. "Can you 请你再说一次吗？可以请你再说一次吗？可以请你再说一次吗？" It's possible that you just don't understand something they said, just a segment. So if you're able to repeat that part, that segment, you could follow it by 是什么意思 So if they said, let's say, 苹果 you would say 苹果是什么意思苹果是什么意思苹果是什么意思 This way, you're asking them to clarify, and you've repeated the exact thing you want them to explain. If they're just talking at a very rapid speed, you can try this again, where we ask them to slow down a bit. 可以请你说慢一点吗 Now notice I already added the word 请 in that phrase, so I'll try it again without, and I'll try it again with. 可以说慢一点吗可以说慢一点吗 And now the polite way. 可以请你说慢一点吗可以请你说慢一点吗 Hopefully that wasn't too fast for you. So today we covered a few key words and phrases that hopefully help you tackle some sticky situations and conversations you might have in Mandarin-speaking cultures. On behalf of Glossika, I thank you again for tuning in to that Indian guy teaching your Mandarin tips and tricks. Now remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 下次见。